जय हिंद दोस्तों आज हम लोग नए सिरे से एक नया अध्याय शुरू करने वाले हैं यह वाजी राम एंड रवि का प्रिलिम्स की प्रिलिम्स की रिविजन है जो 2024 का है और यह पार्ट वन है जो मई से लेकर दो हज़ार दिसंबर दो हज़ार का पूरा का पूरा इसका रिवीजन है यह करीब छः महीने का रिवीजन बुक है क्विक रिविजन बुक और ये प्योरली बेस्ड है प्रिलिम्स के लिए जो कि छब्बीस मई दो को होने वाला है तो इसमें रवि बाजीराम एंड रवि ने कुछ कुछ अपने कंसर्न दिए हैं तो वो क्या पहले देख लेते हैं तो कौन सा स्प्रिलिम पॉइंटर है जो कि जितना भी पॉइंटर सब इसमें है स्पीडी रिवीजन ऑफ ट्वेल्व था हंड्रेड प्लस टॉपिक्स का फिर रिकॉर्ड ऑफ कवरिंग एटी टू नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ करंट अफेयर क्वेश्चंस आस्ट इन प्रिलिम्स फॉर लास्ट टू इयर्स ये इनका रिकॉर्ड है कॉम्प्रहेंसिव कवरेज ऑफ न्यूज़ एंड पी आई बी डायनेमिक एज वेल एज स्टैटिक टॉपिक्स तो ये इनका निकाला हुआ क्योंकि रिविजन बुक है जो कि करीब काफ़ी लंबा बुक है मतलब साढ़े चार सौ पेजों का बुक है इसमें लगभग हर चीज़ दिया हुआ है जैसे आर्ट एंड कल्चर है आर्ट एंड कल्चर के अंदर जितना भी है फिर हेल्थ सोसाइटी से रिलेटेड है फिर पॉलिटी एंड गवर्नेंस है और जितना भी टॉपिक है मतलब करंट अफेयर का वो सारा का सारा यहाँ पर और हम लोग इसे करने वाले हैं ये करीब साढ़े पेज का तो ये सीरीज काफ़ी लंबा चलने वाला है करीब एक महीने के आसपास चलने वाला है तो उम्मीद करते हैं आप लोग हमारे वीडियो में बने रहेंगे और यह पूरा रिवीजन कीजिएगा ताकि आपका करंट अफेयर का एक भी सेक्शन नहीं छूटे एक भी टॉपिक ना छूटे और आप लोग प्री में काफ़ी अच्छा परफॉर्म कर पाए अपने लिए यहाँ पे हर सेक्शन देख रहे हैं आप साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी है मतलब कोई भी ऐसा सेक्शन नहीं है जो अछूता रह गया है करंट अफेयर के लिहाज से तो आप लोग बस वीडियो में बने रहें हमारे साथ और हम लोग इसी तरह से करते रहेंगे अगर आप लोग टॉपिक के बारे में आपको बताएं तो इसमें काफ़ी सारे टॉपिक है तो यह करीब आप लोग यहाँ पे देख रहे होंगे चार पेज तक ये दिखा रहा है तो काफ़ी मतलब मोटी बुक है ये और हम लोग आपके साथ ये करने वाले हैं तो शुरू करते हैं आर्ट एंड कल्चर से इसमें है पहले इम्पोर्टेंट पर्सनालिटीज़ इसमें सबसे शुरू पहला है गोपाल कृष्ण गोखले के बारे में जो कि आठ सौ लेकर उन्नीस इनका मतलब टेन्यूर रहा पूरा और ये बायोलैंगल होने वाला है इंग्लिश और हिंदी दोनों में रहेगा तो जो इंग्लिश मीडियम है उनके लिए भी यह लाभकारी होगा और जो हिंदी मीडियम है उनके लिए तो ये उपयोगी है ही तो आइए शुरू करते हैं जी के गोखले वाज एन इंडियन पॉलिटिकल लीडर एंड अ सोशल रिफॉर्मर फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र ड्यूरिंग द इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस मूवमेंट तो ये महाराष्ट्र से बिलोंग करते थे इंडिपेंडेंस मूवमेंट में ही वाज ऑल्सो द पोलिटिकल गुरु ऑफ महात्मा गांधी वो महात्मा गांधी के पोलिटिकल गुरु थे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू इंडिपेंडेंस स्ट्रगल गोखले कैंपेन फॉर इंडियन सेल्फ रूल एंड फॉर सोशल रिफॉर्म तो उन्होंने होम रूल के लिए रिफॉर्म किया था मतलब कैंपेन किया था इन 1905 ओ फाइव ही वॉज इलेक्टेड प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस बनारस सेशन ही वॉज ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद द पुना सर्विनायक सभा तो 1905 में वह इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस के अध्यक्ष भी रहे थे बनारस सेशन के लिए फिर आगे देखते हैं बिटवीन एटीन एंड नाइनटीन ही वॉज ए मेम्बर ऑफ बॉम्बे लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल फॉलोड बाई ए स्ट्रिंट एट द इम्पीरियल लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड सॉरी नाइनटीन हंड्रेड टू टिल हिज डेथ एट द इम्पीरियल लेजिस्लेचर गोखले प्लेड अ की रोल इन फ्रेमिंग द मार्ले मिंटो रिफॉर्म ऑफ नाइनटीन ओ नाइन एंड एडवोकेटेड फॉर द एक्सपेंसन ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल एट बोथ द सेंटर एंड द प्रोविंसेस गोखले फेवर्ड डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन एंड द प्रोमोशन ऑफ पंचायत एंड तालुका बॉडीज ही ऑल्सो फायरसली ओपोज द इंडेंटर्ड लेबर सिस्टम राइजिंग द प्रॉब्लम इन द इम्पीरियल लेजिस्लेचर एज वेल एज कांग्रेस सेशन एकेडमिक कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन का देख देखें तो ही एडवोकेट फ्री एंड कंपल्सरी प्राइमरी एजुकेशन ही वॉज ए प्रोफेसर एट द फर्ग्यूशन कॉलेज इन पुणे वेयर ही टॉट पोलिटिकल पोलिटिकल इकोनॉमी एंड हिस्ट्री इन नाइनटीन ओ एट ही फाउंडेड द रनाडा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स जर्नलिस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन में इसका देख लेते हैं जर्नलिस्टिक कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन में इनका ही लॉन्च द इंग्लिश वीकली न्यूज पेपर नेम्ड द हितवाद द पीपल्स पेपर इन नाइनटीन इलेवन सर्वेंट ऑफ इंडियन सोसाइटी इट वॉज फाउंड बाई हिम इन पुणे महाराष्ट्र इन नाइनटीन ओ फाइव विद द हेल्प ऑफ एम जी रनाडे टू फर्दर द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ एजुकेशन इन इंडिया द एम ऑफ द सोसाइटी वॉज टू ट्रेन मिशनरीज फॉर द सर्विस ऑफ इंडिया इट ऑल्सो सर्व टू प्रिपेयर ए कैडर ऑफ सेल्फलेस वर्कर हु वेयर टू डिवोट देयर लाइफ टू द काउज ऑफ द कंट्री इन ए रिलीजियस स्पिरिट तो यह गोखले के बारे में इतना था अब रानी दुर्गावती रानी दुर्गावती वॉज बॉर्न इन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी फोर इन महोबास चंदेला डायनासिटी इन उत्तर प्रदेश 
June 24 is marked as a day of sacrifice when the queen is believed to have died while fighting the Mughal in the mid mid 16th century. Durgavati, however, was widowed in 1550, a few years after his marriage. Her young son, Bir Narayan, presided over the throne in name, and she ruled as a regent. During his reign, during his reign, Durgavati fought with Baz Bahadur, the Sultan of neighboring Malwa, who were eventually defeated by Akbar. Abul Fazal, the court historian of Akbar, was chronicled these years in Akbar Nama, described Durgavati as a combination of beauty, grace, and manlike courage and bravery. He further added that the prosperity of the kingdom was such that people paid their tax in gold coin and elephants. Agla hai, Mihir Bhoj, 1836-1885 AD. Mihir Bhoj was a ruler of the Gurjana Pratihara dynasty. He succeeded his father Rama Bhadra and was in power from 1836 until 1885 CE. Some of Bhoja's coin feature the term Adivara, which indicates that he was devoted devotee of Vishnu. During his reign, Kannu, Kannauj served as the state capital, which was known as Panchshila during the, this time. Mihir Bhoj's kingdom extended from Multan in the west to Bengal in the east and from Kashmir in the north to Karnataka in the south. Next is Bal Gangadhar Tilak 1885-1920. His famous declaration was Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. The British government termed him as the father of Indian unrest and his follower gave him the title of Lok Lokmanne which means one who is respected by the people. He maintained that simple constitutional agitation was not enough against the British. Instead, he advocated boycott movement to fight imperial rule. Thus, Tilak and his supporters came to know as came to be known as the extremist wing of Indian National Congress. He was of the trio of Lal Bal Pal, other being Bipin Chandra Pal of Bengal and Lala Lajpatrai of Punjab. Tilak proposed grand celebration of Ganesh Chaturthi and Shivaji Jayanti. He believed that these celebrations could bring a sense of unity and inspire a nationalist sentiment among Indians. Journalistic and Literacy Contribution Tilak published two newspapers, Maratha in English and Kesari in Marathi. Both newspapers stressed on making the Indian aware of glorious, glorious past and encouraged the masses to be self-reliance. Following killing of Plague Commissioner Ranad Rand in 1897 by Chapikar Brothers, Tilak was imprisoned for 18 months on sedition charge for inciting murder. He wrote Gita Rahasi during the imprisonment. All India Home Rule League Tilak founded the All India Home Rule League in 1916 along with any Besant. The goal of league was to achieve self-government in India. Tilak's league worked in areas like Maharashtra, excluding Bombay City, Karnataka, Central Province and Barar and any Besant league work in the rest of the India. Next is Matangani Hazara 1872-1942. She was leader. She was leading one of the five batches of volunteer Vidyut Vahini during Quit India movement. Matangani Hazara actively joined the freedom struggle and was so influenced by Gandhi's belief that she earned the name Gandhi Buri. The old Gandhian woman, Gandhi Buri, she was arrested for taking part in civil disobedience movement in 1930. In 1942, Hazara led a large procession of around 6,000 protesters with the aim to take over the Tamluk police station from British authorities. Aimed that conflict, Hazara was shot dead. Her dead incited revolutionaries to establish their own parallel government in Medinipur, which functioned till 1944, which when it was disbanded by Gandhi's request. In 1977, the first statue of in the Kolkata Maidan dedicated to women revolutionary was that Mitangani Hazara. Next is Sri Alluri Sitarama Raju, 1898-1924. He 
ही वॉज ए प्रोमिनेंट लीडर इंडियन फ्रीडम फाइटर फ्रॉम आंध्र प्रदेश ही हेल्ड फॉर ए ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी कॉल्ड द कोंडाडोरा और कोंडा रेड्डी कम्युनिटी रंपा रिविलियन द फॉरेस्ट एक्ट ऑफ एटीन एटी टू प्रोहिबिटेड द कलेक्शन ऑफ माइनर फॉरेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक रूट्स एंड लिप्स एंड ट्राइबल पीपुल वेयर फोर्स टू वर्क फॉर द कॉलोनियल गवर्नमेंट वाइल द ट्राइबल वेयर एक्सप्लोटेड बाई मोटेडार्स विलेज हेडमैन हायर्ड बाई द कॉलोनियल गवर्नमेंट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट रेंट न्यू लॉज एंड सिस्टम थ्रेटन देयर वे ऑफ लाइफ द ट्राइबल एलॉन्ग विथ मुताडार्स डिसटिस्फाइड विद द ब्रिटिश कटेलमेंट ऑफ देयर पावर्स इरप्टेड इन टू आर्म्ड रेसिस्टेंस लेड बाई सीताराम राजू दरम्पा और मंगम रेविलियन इन अगस्त नाइनटीन फोर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी टू द रेविलियन लास्टेड अंटिल मे नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फोर वेन राजू द मनियम वेरुडू ऑफ और द हीरो ऑफ जंगल वॉज एप्रीहेंडेड एंड एग्जीक्यूटेड नेक्स्ट इज श्री अरविंदो घोष एटीन सेवेंटी टू टू नाइनटीन फिफ्टी अरविंदो घोष वॉज एन इंडियन फिलोसोफर योगा गुरु पोएट एंड इंडियन नेशनलिस्ट ही वॉज वन ऑफ द फाउंडर ऑफ अनुशीलन समिति विच प्रोटेस्टेड अगेंस्ट द एट्रोसिटीज ऑफ ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट ही वॉज ऑल्सो चार्ज इन द एलिपोर बॉम्बे केस and sentenced to jail he gave up active politics after he slinked in jail and devoted himself to spiritualism he reached pondicherry in 1910 in 1926 with the help of his spiritual collaborator mira al fasa referred to as the mother sri arvindo ashram was found his main literary work are the the life divine synthesis of yoga and savitri a legend and a symbol next is सर सैयद अहमद खान एटीन सेवनटीन टू एटीन नाइन्टी एट सैयद अहमद खान वॉज अ लीडिंग मुस्लिम सोशल रिफॉर्मर ही वॉज डीपली इम्प्रेस बाई मॉडर्न साइंटिफिक थाट एंड डेडिकेटेड हिज लाइफ इन काउंसलिंग इट विथ इस्लाम ही डिक्लेयर द कुरान एज द सोल अथॉरिटेटिव वर्क फॉर इस्लाम कंसिडरिंग ऑल अदर राइटिंग एज सेकेंडरी He interpreted the Quran in the light of contemporary religious rationalism and science. He urged people to develop critical thinking and freedom of thought, emphasizing that civilized life required freedom of thought. He established the Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College in nineteen eighty seven, sorry nineteen eighty five, which later became the Aligarh Muslim University. He emphasized raising the status of women in society, advocating for the removal of parda and promoting education among women. He also criticized practices like polygamy and easy divorce. In the initial phase, he stood for Hindu-Muslim unity and was nationalist, nationalistic in his point of view. In his later year, he discouraged the followers. He discouraged his followers for from participating in the national movement. started by congress next is guru teg bahadur 1621 to 1675 guru teg bahadur was born in amritsar in 1921 to mata nanki and guru har gobind the sixth sikh guru who raised the army against the mughal and introduced the concept of warrior saint as a boy he was called tyag mal because of his ascetic nature he bravely his bravery and heroic sword swordsmanship in the battle earned him the name of teg bahadur teg is sword in punjabi he contributed many hymns to guru granth sahib including the shlokas or couplets he is regarded as the savior guru and he resisted the forced conversion of non muslim to islam his martyrdom is remembered as the shahid divas every year on november 24 next is lachit borpohar 1622 to 1672 born in 1622 lachit borpoh borpokon led the ahom troops which fight and defeated the advancing advancing mughal troops at the battle of sari ghat on the outskirts of guwahati in 
Borpukan is also considered as the inspiration behind strengthening India's naval force and re revitalizing island water transport and creating infrastructure associated with it. Since 1999, the Lachit Borpukan gold medal was has been awarded to the West Cadet for the National Defense Academy. Next section is fair and festivals. Pailah Bihan Mela. The Kohan tribe in Odisha's Nayagar district has introduced the Bihan Mela Acid Festival to their calendar of celebration. This event, which began in nineteen in two hundred nineteen, mimics a traditional market where farmers exchange seed. Farmers from forty villages participate in this event, which began after harvesting kharif crop, including hybrid and indigenous varieties of paddy, millet, maize, and sorghum. Women collect seed and store them in clay pots, which are decorated with red and white design and carried to the fair. Since the Green Revolution, farmers have abandoned native crop and have shifted to monoculture crop, cash crop. Affecting their food security and soil quality, the seed festival aims to help farmers return to their traditional farming method. Khond tribe. Uske baare mein dekh lete thoda. The Khond are the largest tribe group in the state of Orissa. They are known for their rich culture, heritage, material tradition, and indigenous values, which are based on harmony with nature. Traditionally, hunter gatherers. They are divided into the hill dwelling. Khonds and plain dwellings Khond for census purposes, but the Khond themselves identify by their specific clans. Khond usually hold large tracts of fertile land, but still practice hunting, gathering, and slash and burn agriculture in the forest as a symbol of their connection to and as an assertion to their ownership of the festival wherein they dwell. Khond speak the Kui language, which is Dravidian language and is written in Odia script. Next is Karchi Puja. It is centered around the worship of ancestral deities of the Tripuri people. It is associated. It is also called the festival of fourteen gods. The word Karchi is derived from two Tripuri word Kar or Kharta, meaning sin or And chi or si means cleaning. It is believed that the mother goddess of Tripura, Sundari, the presiding deity of land, who protects the people of Tripura, menstruates during the time of Ambu Bhachi. Hence, Kharchi Puja is observed to ritualistically clean the earth after the after her menstruation is over and wash away the sin of the people in the land. The festival involves the construction of the Chaturdasha Mandapa, which symbolizes the royal palace of the Tripuri king, and is constructed out of bamboo and thatched roof. Next is Omesha and Utkarsh festival. The two events were jointly organized by Sangat Natak, Sangit Natak Academy and Sahit Academy in association with the Culture Department, Madhya Pradesh. Utkarsh is a national festival of folk and tribal. expression it means progress and the festival is held in the spirit that the progress of the tribal group will lead to the progress of the country omesha is india's most inclusive and asia's largest literature festival in term of number of languages represented sangeet natak academy is the apex body in the field of performing art and art in the country the chairman of the academy is appointed by the president of india For a term of five years, it is presently an autonomous body of the Ministry of Culture. Sahit Academy, India's national academy of letter, is the central institution for literacy, dialogue, publication, and promotion in the country. It is the only institution that undertakes literacy activity in twenty-four lang Indian languages, including English and Rajasthani, apart from twenty-two languages in enumerated in the constitution. It also gives a special award called Bhasha Bhasha Samman to significant contribution to their languages. Next is Adi 
Peruku festival. The festival is celebrated in Tamil Nadu to show the gratitude to the Mother Nature and Monsoon God for providing uninterrupted supply of water. As per Tamil calendar, this festival is celebrated on 18th day of Adi month which marks the beginning of the monsoon season in Tamil Nadu. On this auspicious day, Mother Nature is worshipped in the form of Aman deities. This day is celebrated as Patin, Patintam Perakku. Patintam or Patintam means 18 and Perakku means rising. Next is Nadi Utsav. The fourth Nadi Utsav was organized by the National Mission on Culture Mapping NMCM of Indira Gandhi National Center for, Art, for the Arts IGNCA on the bank of river Yamuna. The event is, a, is an attempt to document riverine culture, its tradition, ritual and water wisdom. IGNCA has been organizing the Nadi Utsav since 2018. The inaugural event was held in Nasik on the bank of river Godavari, second on the bank of river Krishna and third on the bank of river Ganga. IGNCA was established in 1987 as a government funded art art organization in India. It is an autonomous institute under the Ministry of Culture. Next is Kati Bihu. It is celebrated in Assam annually on the first day of Kati month in the Assamese calendar. The Bihu festival have agriculture significance and mark different farming cycle stages. Kati Bihu also known as Kong Kongali Bihu occurs when rice saplings and are transplanted. The name Kongali Bihu is derived from the fact that during this period, the granaries are typically empty and there's little left to consume. A special lamp called Akas Banti or Sky Cattle is lit in Paddy Festival. Next is Bhattu Kama Festival. Bhattu Kama is a flower festival celebrated by women of Telangana and some part of Andhra Pradesh. Bhattu Kama is a beautiful flower stack arranged with different unique seasonal flowers, most of them with medicinal values in seven concentric layers in a shape of a temple Gopuram. In Tamil, in Telugu, Bhattu Kama means mother goddesses come alive. During the entire preceding week, women make Bodhamma, a deity of Gori, Mother Durga, along with Bhattu Kamma. Next is Ras Prabha, also, also called Mithuna Sankranti, is a multi day festival which is celebrated in Odisha to bring prosperity in agriculture field and also to celebrate womanhood. The festival is ded dedicated to Basu Mata. The earth goddesses and during the festival all the agriculture activities are stopped to allow the goddesses to rest. It is believed that during the period of period the goddesses undergoes her menstrual cycle. The festival is mostly celebrated by girls, women and children. Girls are forbidden from all kind of manual work during these days of festival. In many villages, night yatra and gotipura dance are performed by artists. Next is Ambubachi Mela. Ambubachi is one of the major festivals of North East India. It is held at Kamakya Temple of Guwahati in the state of Assam. It is also been dubbed as the Mahakumbh of the East. It is celebrated during the monsoon season that happened to fall during the Assamese month Ahar around June. This Mela is also known as Amethi or Tantric Fest Fertility Festival since it is closely associated with Tantric Shakti cult prevalent in eastern part of India. The festival has been associated with fertility rituals and many devotees come to seek the blessing for a child from the goddesses. During the festival, the patron goddesses Kamakya is said to be undergoing her annual menstrual cycle. Hence, the temperature remains closed for three days. Khir Puja Khir means Ossetri this puja is celebrated after 14 days of Karchi Puja. During Khir, a particular area is demarcated. This area is bounded by the Khir symbol. The road to the entry or exit is totally blocked by the symbols. Before the Khir Puja is started, all the drying 
ऑल द डाइंग पर्सन और एक्सपेक्टेंट मदर आर शिफ्टेड टू द नेबरिंग विलेज वंस खेर इज स्टार्टेड द नो वन शैल बी अलाउडेड टू गो आउट ऑफ द एरिया नेक्स्ट सेक्शन इज आर्किटेक्चर एंड द फर्स्ट इज तुंगनाथ टेम्पल द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज शुड ए नोटिफिकेशन डिक्लेयरिंग द टेम्पल ऑफ तुंगनाथ एज ए मोनूमेंट ऑफ नेशनल इंपॉर्टेंस इट इज लोकेटेड एट रुद्रप्रयाग उत्तराखंड इट्स इट इज द हाइएस्ट शिवा टेम्पल इन द वर्ल्ड इट इज द इट इज द थर्ड ऑफ द फाइव पंच खेदराज केदारनाथ मध्य महावेश्वर तुंगनाथ रुद्रनाथ और कल्पनाथ ऑफ उत्तराखंड The temple is believed to have been built by Adi Shankara Charya. Another is Konark Wheel, a replica of Konark Wheel from the Sun Temple in Odisha Puri, served as the backdrop of G20 summit. The Konark Sun Temple was built in 13th century by King Narasimha Dev I of the Eastern Ganga dynasty. It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It follows the Kalinga or Oriya style of architecture, which is subset of the Nagara style of Hindu temple architecture. The Konark Chakra represents the wheel of the Sun God's chariot. The wheel has twenty-four spokes, which can be used as a sundial by observing the shadow cast of a spokes. One can determine the approximate time of day. The temple was called the Black Pagoda. in european sailor account similarly the jagannath temple in puri was called the white pagoda idakkal caves located in vinad in kerala the idakkal cave are among the oldest human settlement ever discovered despite their name idakka cave are not actually caves they are part of prehistoric rock shelter the name idakka itself means a stone in between inside the cave are pictorial drawing and engraving that indicate the presence of ancient human settlement in the region the oldest among them date back to 6000 bc at the age of stone age next is sacred in symbols of hoysalas three temple of hoysala has been inscribed by unesco world heritage site this include chinnakeshwar temple at belur the hoysala temple in helubudi helebidu and the keshava temple in somnathpuram village hoysalas this began as provincial provincial governor under the western chalukyas held power in karnataka from the 10th century to the 14th century the capital of hoysalas was initially located at velur but was later moved to helebidu for or dwar samudra one notable feature of hoysala architecture is the use of soft stone a mal a malleable stone that is easy to carve the temple are generally built on stellate stellate star shaped platform next is 64 yogini temple It is believed that design of the old parliament building was inspired by Chausat Yogini Temple located in Madhya Pradesh. The temple is circular with sixty-four chambers dedicated to sixty-four yogini, and a central shrine dedicated to Shiva. It was built around thirteen twenty-three of by King Devapala of Kacha Pahita dynasty. It is. hypothetical which means it has no roof and no sikharas another section is literature aur se pehla hai vinayak pitaka it is first of the three division of tripita tripitaka triple basket the definitive canos canonical celebration of a sculpture of the Triveda Buddhism. Triveda Buddhism. The other two part of Tripitaka are Sutpitaka and Abhidham Pitaka. The Vinay Pitaka consists of three parts. Sutta Bhi Bhanga rules for monk and nuns. Kandaka twenty two chapters of various topics. 
Pravira analysis of rules from various point of view domestic demonst democratic roots in Vinay Vinay Pitak in the context of India's new parliament building inauguration parallels were were drawn to the speech of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar in 1948 where he remarked how aspect of democracy was not imported from British but, but located in Indian history itself. In the speech, he said that reference of democratic setup in India can be found in Vinay Pitaka. He said that Vinay Pitaka regulated meeting of the bhikshus, Sangh, the monk and there were, there was the well-known rule that no debate could take place ex except on Neti motion. There could be no debate held unless there was a motion and no vote could be taken unless a motion was put. There was also a sim system of sacred ballot where the bhikkhus could drop his salpatrika in the ballot box. Next is National Manuscript Bill 2023. A manuscript is a handwritten comp composition of paper, bark, cloth, metal, palm leaf or any other material dating back at least 75 years and has significant scientific historical context and aesthetic value. India possesses an estimate of estimated 10 million manuscripts in 80 ancient script in Brahmi, Kushan, Gaudi, Lepcha and Maithili. The Bakshali manuscript, an ancient Indian mathematical text written on bark, ba, birch bark, is considered to be the earliest recorded example of the use of zero. The will in which sacked setting up the 10 member National Manuscript Authority NMA as an apex policy making body for manuscript. It will have the Union Minister of Culture as a chairperson. National Mission for Manuscripts It was established in 2003 by the Ministry of Tourism and Culture with the aim to unearth and preserve the vast manuscript wealth of India. The motto of the mission is conserving the past for the future. The mission focuses on locating manuscript through surveys documentation, conservation and to train the next generation of scholars. It has digitalized 3.3 lakh manuscript containing about 3.1 crore foilers. It has also uploaded 1.18 lakh manuscript and he made available online about 70,000 manuscript for public access. Next is Ganaya Miyochi Muyarchi Palm manuscript from the 18th century titled Ganana Muyarchi has been discovered in an Armenian monastery in northern Italy. The finding highlight the rich history on the culture exchange between different regions during that time. The manuscripts are written in Tamil, showcasing the influence of the language and its spread beyond its homeland. They offer valuable insight to the, into the time period that organized from providing a first-hand account on the social literary and religious practices during that era. Next, Agla hai, Bharatiya Bhasa Summit. The summit was organized as part of Bharatiya Bhasa Utsav jointly by the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship and its and their constituent institution. The summit aimed to facilitate, facilitate a seamless transition from the culture, current education system to one rooted in Bharati language. In line with the National New Education Policy 2020 vision, the government has proposed to celebrate the birthday of renowned Tamil poet and freedom fighter Mahakavi Chinna Swami Subramanyam Bharti as Bharti Bhasha Divas 11 December और यहाँ पे हमारा ये section खत्म होता है अगला section sculpture का शुरू होता है इसे पहला Sengol a historic 
septry called singol has been installed in the new parliament building singol is derived from the tamil word simai meaning right right to rest right pandit nehru accepted singol on august 14 1947 through the adinam of tamil nadu it was as a sign of shift of power from britishers to the people of india in the tradition of chola dynasty the symbol for the transfer of power she used was the handover of senol from the king to the successor the sculpture has a nandi lord shiva's sacred bull on the top symbolizing justice chola dynasty the dynasty was founded by king vijayal vijayala vijayalaya described as the feudatory of the pallavas and stretched across present day tamil nadu kerala and part of andhra pradesh and karnataka the achievement of the chola dynasty where the naval power and building magnificent temple in like the brihadeshwara temple in tanjavur next is nataraj at g20 summit a magnificent 27 feet nataraja the tallest statue of lord shiva dancing from form in the world was placed at the g20 summit at bharat mandapam in new delhi it has been constructed using the lost wax casting method the design of this nataraja at the summit is inspired by three nataraja idol the lain nataraja temple in chidambaram the oman maheshwara temple in koneri rajapuram and brihadeshwara temple a unesco world heritage site at tanjavur nataraja it is description of lord shiva as uh, as the divine cosmic dancer the dance performed by nataraja is called tandava the image of nataraja is encircled in a prava mandala that is the circle of fire next is dancing girl figure of mohanjodaro it is a prehistoric bronze sculpture made in lost wax cast casting about 23 to 1750 bc in mohanjodaro of indus valley civilization it describes it describes a nude young woman or a girl with stylized ornaments standing in a confident naturalistic pose the statue was excavated by british archaeologist ernest mackail mackay in 1926 it signifies signifies that people of indus valley new metal blending and casting also it indicates the entire entertainment especially dance was part of the culture lost wax casting technique also known as investment casting it is the process by which a single metal object is cast from wax model lost wax casting building a a mold around a sacrificial wax model after the mold investment is set the wax is melted out and form a cavity where the metal or a glass flows in other art form mein hai lambani art at one of g20 meeting in hampi a guinness world record was created for the larger display of lambai lambani atom with a total of 7 1755 items lambani embroidery is a vibrant and intricate form of textile deco- decoration characterized by colorful threads lambani craft tradition involves skillfully stretching together small pieces of discarded fabric to create a beautiful fabric the embroidery tradition of lambanis are shared with textile tradition across eastern U- europe west and central asia this refers to the movement of nomadic communities across such region historically forming a shared artistic culture lambani is also called Lam- lambadis or banjaras were nomadic tribes who came from afghanistan to rajasthan and have now spread themselves across karnataka andhra pradesh rajasthan mp gujarat and maharashtra artwork presented greece the indian prime minister recently presented several artwork to and traditional item to greek counterpart 
Meghalaya shawl there were originally woven from for the khasi and jantia royal royalty who considered them a symbol of their power and status their intricate design and vibrant color were a reflection of royal family wealth and prestige dokra art it is one of the india's prehistoric art form one of the earliest expression of this ancient art is a dancing girl artifact found from mohenjo-daro and harappan excavation it is named after the dokahar damar a nomadic indian tribe indigenous to the central and eastern region of the country it involved the use of non ferrous metal casting through low wax casting method bidri art artware bidri is a form of metal handicraft it was developed in the 14th century during the rule of the brahmani sultana next is polikali Polikali tiger dance is one of the folk art form of Kerala. One of the fourth day of Onam festival, artists paint their bodies like tiger with stripes of yellow, red, black, and dance to the rhythm of traditional percussion instruments such as takil, udukku, and chinda. The main theme of this folk art is tiger hunting with fish. with participants playing the role of tiger and hunter onam is one of the important festival of kerala that celebrates rich harvest it is also celebrated to pay homage to legendary king mahabali homecoming onam is celebrated in the chingam month which mark the beginning of malayalam calendar next is thrifed artisanal treasure at g20 summit उसको हम लोग नेक्स्ट पेज में करेंगे दैट विल बी डन इन अनदर वीडियो फॉर टुडे वी कंक्लूड इट हेयर और इसके लिए आज हम लोग यहीं पर समाप्त करते हैं आज ये पहला वीडियो लेक्चर था और ये इसी तरह से कंटिन्यू चलते रहेगा जब तक हम ये पूरा बुक कंप्लीट नहीं कर लेते तो आप लोग हमारे साथ बने रहेंगे और इस पूरे बुक को कम्प्लीट कीजिएगा और अपना तैयारी और अच्छे से कीजिएगा मिलता है आपसे अगले वीडियो लेक्चर में तब तक के लिए रिवाइज़ करते रहिए देखते रहिए जितना ज़्यादा बार देखिए उतना ही लाभ होगा और इस वीडियो को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा शेयर करें उन लोगों तक जो इस बार के 2024 के यू पी एस देने वाले हैं उनको तक इस वीडियो को जरूर पहुंचाएं और आप हमें कमेंट बॉक्स में ज़रूर बताएं आपको हमारी यह पहल कैसी लग रही है तो मिलते हैं आपसे अगले वीडियो लेक्चर में तब तक के लिए जय हिंद जय भारत